Hi everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Laura and you can find me at Looks by Laura on Poshmark. Um, I wanted to jump on today and do a fun video that I'm excited about. Um, so I wanted to just show, share with you all some of my sales numbers for the month of March. Um, and before I get into all of this, um, hopefully you don't mind the background. Normally I will be filming in my bedroom, which has a beautiful brick wall, which is every reseller's dream for um, photos. But unfortunately, because I'm doing this video and I need my computer to share with you a lot of my sales numbers, it's just easier for me to do it in my living room um, at my kitchen table because I can kind of have my computer in front of me a little bit more easily. So hopefully you all don't mind my background. You can see my steamer back there. Um, and yeah, so I'm just gonna kind of get into it. I'm just like comfy cozy, wearing a sweatshirt. Um, it is quarantine still. It's April 7th um, that I'm filming this and you know, there is not really an end in sight right now, at least for when, you know, we're all gonna be done working from home, but I'm still staying hopeful, I'm staying optimistic, I'm trying to stay busy, and honestly, having Poshmark and something to focus on has been really helpful for me. I do work full time. Poshmark is a side, kind of a side hustle for me at this time. And so it has been really nice, like once I'm done with my regular work day, working from home, I have something else that I can focus on instead of just sitting in front of the TV and not knowing what to do. So um, there's always something to do with Poshmark as we all know. So anyway, I'm gonna get right into it. I'm gonna share with you some of my sales numbers and, um, and yeah, hopefully this video is interesting and helpful. I really enjoy watching these and kind of getting a sense for what other people are doing, how much money they're making, um, and that kind of stuff. So I'm gonna just kind of dive in and share with you some of my sales for the month. So I will say I started on Poshmark in November and of 2019, so it has not been all that terribly long. Um, actually, it's been six months today. So again, it hasn't been very long. And I will say that for about the first three months of that, it was really around like the holiday season. I had a lot of distractions and I wasn't very focused on this. So honestly, I didn't ramp up until like February. Um, I only listed seven items on Poshmark in January for just a frame of reference. So I was very much not focused on this until recently. Um, honestly, like right before all of this happened with the quarantine, I was really focusing on growing Poshmark and kind of, um, you know, really trying to make it a successful business versus just doing it for fun and like testing the waters. I had decided, okay, I'm gonna do this. Um, and then the quarantine hit, so that was unfortunate timing, but I did have a lot of luck with sourcing in my neighborhood and I put out a video about this on YouTube, but unfortunately something happened with the video and the first like 20 minutes of it are just a black screen and I don't know why. And I tried to fix it on iMovie and go back in and re-edit the footage and it's just not coming up. So if anyone knows anything about iMovie and you can let me know like what might have happened, that would be really helpful. But unfortunately, I did have to take that video down because it's just not very useful because uh, most of it is not watchable, which really sucks. But um, I did have a lot of luck with sourcing in my neighborhood. So I have a ton of stuff to list right now. And so that's been really good in terms of spurring some growth in my closet. So I wanna share these numbers with you. And I do wanna say like, again, I haven't been doing this for very long. There are so many people that have so much more experience than me and that are selling much greater quantities. But what I wanna do with this channel is hold myself accountable. And part of that for me is being open and transparent about what I'm doing and kind of how it's going. So I wanted to share with you how I did in March. And then I also want to go into April and kind of um, share with you some of the goals that I have for April. So let's get started and um, hopefully you guys find this video interesting. If you do, I would love it if you would subscribe, give it a thumbs up and um, yeah, let's get started. So uh, for March, I'll start with sort of big picture. So in March, I did make 10 total sales and 
for me, that was awesome. That was the best sales month that I've had so far. Before that, the best sales month I had had was four sales, which was like a sale a week. And so 10 was awesome. Um, it like double, more than doubles what I had done in February. And I think that was because in February I did list quite a bit. And so the results of that were starting to pay off in March. Nine of those 10 sales were on Poshmark and one was on eBay. So that was exciting. Um, I've now made two total sales on eBay, which is again, not very many, but very exciting. And I really want to keep cross-listing stuff on there to continue to build momentum over there as well. Um, I really want to focus on eBay and Poshmark for now. And I'll, I have a Mercari account. I have a couple things on there, but I'm not going to necessarily focus all my energy on that right now, just because I feel like Poshmark and eBay um, are easier for me to understand how to use and just have bigger customer bases for me to just kind of concentrate my energy and attention onto those right now. Um, so total gross sales were um, $231.07. So that's how much I made before fees, shipping discounts, and cost of goods. So that was just what the items sold for. Again, yeah, highest gross sales month so far. Um, so the fees of all of that were $42.50 and the shipping discounts came out to $13.75. And for anyone who might be brand new to Poshmark or eBay, uh, well, Poshmark really, um, you can offer to likers. And when you send an offer to people who've liked your item, you do have to include a shipping discount. So they'll get an offer, say your item was listed for $35, you send them an offer for $30 and uh, discounted shipping. So that's sort of how that works. So that's why I did end up paying $13.75 of shipping because those were just discounts that I had offered to people. Um, gross profit. So this is the number that, um, I made at, I basically subtracted my gross sales. Um, and I subtracted the fees and shipping discounts from that number. So that was $174 and 82 cents. So that's how much I made before cost of goods. Um, I'm not going to necessarily share my cost of goods per item because First of all, I don't necessarily think it's that helpful because like I could get something at my thrift store for $5 and you could go to your thrift store and it would cost three or seven or that item's not there. Like, I just don't think it's that helpful to know exactly how much I spent on each item. But I will share with you my average cost of goods overall. So basically on every piece of inventory that I have ever purchased for my closet, and this is not including items that I that, that I had donated to me for zero dollars because I think that that just skews the number a little bit. Um, so this is just solely the things that I have bought in thrift stores. Um, my average cost of goods for all of those items is five dollars and 32 cents. So on average that's how much I spend um, on inventory. So you can kind of do the math yourself if you are so so inclined to figure out um, exactly what I netted from that gross profit. Um, but I don't necessarily want to dive in and tell you exactly what I spent on every item that I sold just because, you know, I don't think it's that useful really. And I also think that um, there might be people who are watching or tuning in who have purchased things for me and I don't want them to feel like you know, they got ripped off or that the item that they purchased wasn't worth what they purchased it for because it, it is. And that's what reselling really is, is that you're finding things that are being undervalued in the market and you're selling them at a fair market price. So I don't want people to feel like they're getting scammed or duped. So that's why I'm not going to go into all of that detail, but I did share with you my average cost of goods overall. And I think that is pretty on par, like $5 with any reseller who doesn't go to the bins that much. I've only been to the bins one time. I went with my sister. We were only there for like 30 minutes because it definitely was not her scene. Um, and so like I got a few things, but I, I haven't shopped there in bulk at all. Really everything I've gotten has been from thrift stores, regular thrift stores. So I think like a $5 average cost of goods is pretty um, standard for shopping at thrift stores. In March, I did list 43 items. And so I listed 43 and I sold 10. Um, so I had a sell through rate of about 25%, which I'm happy with. 
Um, and then I sourced 241 items in March. And for reference, I sourced 27 items in February and four items in January. So I definitely am ramping up. And so that's really exciting. And I'm hoping that the next month that I do this video, it's gonna be like bigger numbers and bigger and bigger. And it's just gonna keep growing and you're gonna get to see it from the beginning, which is cool. Um, and again, a lot of those items were donated because I didn't do like that much sourcing in March, but I did get a lot of items um, for free, which was cool. And I also did purchase a liquidation box, which I'm going to do a video on. So if you're interested in finding out what it got in that box, um, I'm gonna have an unboxing video and then I'm also gonna have a video kind of detailing the process and how much everything costs. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned because that will be coming. At, by the end of March, I had 127 total listings on Poshmark. And out of those 127, 105 were active listings and 16 total listings on eBay and 15 of those were active listings. So, um, so yeah, that was, that was pretty great. I definitely ramped up, um, with my listing in March. And already in April, I've listed 27 items and it's only been seven days of April. So I, my goals for April, I guess I'll just kind of dive into that now. Um, so I did outline some goals for myself for April of where I wanna see myself hitting. So I sold $231.07 um, in gross sales in March. My goal for April is to hit 500. So that is um, something I really, really want to see happen. And I did watch, Nicole State has a video about um, how you can figure out like how much you need to list in order to make a certain amount of money. So it's like pretty basic math, but very helpful. She just lays, lays out exactly how you can figure out, okay, if I want to make X amount of money, I need to list X amount of things based on your rates, your ratios of how much you're selling. So I used her video to help me figure out how much I need to list in April in order to make $500. So I hope that that will be some, be a number that I hit because I am following like a strategy. It's not like I just made that number up and I will include her video linked there so that you can see, um, check that video out. Cause it was really helpful for me. So $500 in gross sales, that is my goal for April. And I wanna make 20 total sales. So I made 10 in March. My goal for April is to double that to 20. So basically double my gross sales, double my total sales. My goal is to list 120 items. Um, I'm on track to do that. It averages out to three or four items a day. And I've been doing that consistently so far in April. So I'm on track to hit that goal. Um, and I do want my average sales price to be $30 or higher. Right now, my average sales price is $35 generally for 2020. Um, and that includes the sales I've made so far in April. So, um, so far that, that goal is going pretty well. So those are my main goals for Poshmark in April. Um, and well, gross sales, $500 is for every platform. So if some of that comes from eBay, that's great too. Um, but I am primarily focusing on Poshmark. And I would encourage you if you're new to this, like I am, um, it feels really overwhelming at first if you're just trying to do everything at once. So I would recommend like focusing in on a couple things that you really wanna grow. And so for me, um, Poshmark is my primary market right now, just because I understand it. It's really easy to use. The shipping is easy. Um, so I am focused on that more so than eBay, but I do want to grow eBay and I have that in the back of my mind and I'm continually cross-listing things. But um, for me right now, Poshmark is my primary platform. And I think I've noticed a trend and a lot of resellers will start on Poshmark and then they'll actually transition to eBay being their primary market. And maybe that'll happen for me down the line too. But for now, um, I'm comfortable on Poshmark. I get it and I know how to use it. So yeah, so I think that's all that I wanted to share with you all. Those are my numbers for March. Uh, again, I really want to be transparent with everyone. And like I do this part time, obviously I'm not uh, surviving off of $200 a month. Um, 
but I think it'll be really cool for me to be able to look back. And I also think it's helpful for new resellers to see someone who might be more on the same level that they're on because I watch all of these resellers who are doing, you know, $100,000 in gross sales and they'll do these kinds of videos and you're like, wow, those numbers are amazing. I wish I was there, but everyone starts somewhere. This is where I'm starting and I was really happy with March. So I would love for you to leave a comment about how you felt about March. Um, I know that times were kind of tough and a lot of people were experiencing maybe some slower sales months. I do think that regardless of the economy, you can make sales if you are consistent. That's the main thing that I've noticed. So um, just listing and sharing and um, making sure that you're doing what you need to do to hit your numbers. So yeah, so that's, uh, that's all I wanted to share with you all today. Thank you so much for watching and um, tune back in soon for my liquidation haul video. Uh, hopefully that'll be up by this weekend. Thanks so much for watching guys. Bye.